All right guys, welcome back to my Wednesday video. I'm gonna be doing camera reviews and film reviews on Wednesdays. So today's review is going to be on two films. It's gonna be on Lomography's 400 and then their 800 speed film. So a couple weeks ago, I was at Barnes & Noble Christmas shopping and they had on display a bunch of boxes of the 400 color negative film. I had shot this before. I kind of enjoyed it, you know? It was a little too heavy in the cyans, but for $13, I got three rolls and I was pretty pumped up about that. As soon as I got home, I, I hopped on Amazon and I ended up purchasing the 800 speed film as well. Just because I was looking at pictures on Flickr and I was really impressed with the tones. I mean, the 800's kind of yellow and black and pale rather than the 100 super red and then there's that other 400 that's purple which you know they neither of those really fit my style so I thought you know the 400 and the 800 would complement each other pretty well I'm really trying to look for muted dark undertones to these pictures that I've been shooting for this book to kind of put, like push out this feeling of, of undertone so these films kind of worked out perfect I'm not much of a lumography head like, I don't go out and shoot from the hip and all that crazy lamography stuff. Although, I think it's great that there's a company out there promoting film shooting and, you know, being, like, experimenting and thinking outside of the box. I always, always thought lamography was cool for that kind of whole thing. I loaded up the 400 speed in my Olympus Stylus Epic. Olympus Stylus. Epic. I've only ever shot this camera two or three times. I have three or four of them sitting on my camera shelf in my room and I've always heard great things about these cameras. I mean, it's an autofocus. It's, you know, it's, it's a nice little point and shoot and I think I paid $3 for it. I was pretty pumped up about that. But I loaded the 400 in the Olympus and let's take a look at those pictures right now. those pictures came out pretty good and I also thought it was a good combination with the epic just a little bit of flash every once in a while you know it was just fun especially using a point-and-shoot I'm always using an SLR so it was it was fun getting to shoot this film on a point-and-shoot and I can't wait to try it on either one of my Nikons or my Canon and really try to push it to see what this film can do because I realized it holds up a lot better in low light or underexposed than say the 800 did, which you'll see the 800 got a little grainy in the low light, but you know, that's that's pretty common for an 800 speed film, at least I think. And then that brings us to the 800 Lomography film. It's a color negative film, 36 exposures, you know, just like the blue stuff. It's definitely high in the yellows, the reds, and I feel like it's almost, it almost pushes blacks out a lot too. And I think I fell in love with this film. This is the first time that I shot it, and I did shoot it in my Canon FT. I kept it at box speed, you know, just shot it at 800. 800 is such a great speed to shoot. I'm used to shooting film at that speed because that's what the Canonette pushes to, so I usually shoot at 800 because you can get away with shooting in daylight at 800 and you can, you know, you can work in a well-lit room at night, even a not so much well-lit room at night with 800 speed. Let's quick take a look at those pictures and then I'll give you my comments on that.
Yeah, like I said, I think I totally fell in love with this film. You know, I wouldn't use this for a professional setting or, you know, a headshot job or anything like that because it is very, very high in grain and that's just not a professional look. But as for an artistic expression, you know, this is the kind of film that I like. It's, it's almost, man, you know, I really haven't shot anything like this. It almost reminds me of, you know, Kodak's uh, 400 gold, almost. You know, it's, it's good with blacks and it's on the warmer side. I really like warmer tones for, you know, shooting personal work. You know, the cool stuff, it definitely has its place, but I think I've really found something that I enjoy here with the Lamography 800 speed film. I'm really glad that I just kind of went for it and picked it up. Although I did only shoot in the laundromat and then out around my house just a little bit. I didn't get to really push the boundaries with it. I, I, I saw that kind of, it doesn't hold up too well underexposed and you know, that's okay. So you really have to nail the exposure with it. It was already too late in the day to overexpose really. So I didn't get to push it that way. You know, I got two rolls left, so I'm still gonna try to push its boundaries a little bit in the next couple rolls that I shoot. And um, I'll definitely be able to throw some of those in on the Friday video to show you guys because I plan on developing on Thursday night for the Friday video. I think that's going to be it. Uh, last, last thoughts on both of these films. You can definitely pick them up on Amazon. They are always available from what I've seen. It looks like the 800's a little cheaper than the 400. I don't, I'm guessing that the 400's probably just more popular. But, you know, I had a blast shooting these and I'm also glad that I finally pushed myself to go shoot the Epic because I, you know, I have three of these, like I said, sitting on the shelf, just gathering dust. And I've always heard great things about them, but I have a couple cheaper point and shoots that I have, and I've used those more. And they just, you know, they have that point and shoot look, which is not really my favorite. I just like using a good SLR or even a rangefinder when I'm shooting personal work. These point and shoots really aren't a professional thing either. So they, I mean, there's a place for them and I'm glad I'm finally starting to find that place. Yeah, if you ever get a chance, check out these. I mean, I highly recommend the 800. You know, the 400's great to have, and I'm glad it's loaded up in here because I'm gonna have fun shooting another roll of it and developing it and showing you guys. So if you have any questions about these two film stocks or the Epic or anything, uh, leave me a comment down below. And I'm about to hit 200 subscribers, which is just mind blowing because I remember a couple months ago, I was just watching the subscriber count and I'd get maybe a new subscriber every month. So thank you guys. This is awesome and I'm so glad that you guys, you know, that you're enjoying these videos. There's nothing that makes me more happy than that. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys on Friday or Saturday, depending when I get the edit done. This is a busy work week. So I'll see you guys. Keep shooting.